we've just been to home. Yeah, home cinema in mm -hmm. Manchester. To do what? Uh, watch a free movie. To, to watch an interfilm movie, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So every year as home educators we hook up with the interfilm festival and they had emailed out the other day to say that there was a, a couple of weeks ago a screening of a movie called The Breadwinner which was done by Angelina Jolie's production company so it's a Jolie Pass production which I thought was pretty cool what did you think Joe? I'm not sure if it was a family in Arabia or whatever they were but uh well it's, it's on Middle Eastern isn't it because the Taliban were there oh yeah yeah, yeah. so at the bottom of the it's at the Kush mountains is that what they mm. said yeah. yeah yeah so we could maybe have a look at that when we get home to see exactly geographically where it was so a family mm. living in, in an area a war torn area where the Taliban were place where women hardly had any I want to say respect but it's not right oh, it is right but freedom would be freedom a yeah a mum and a dad and oh two uh, daughters a mum a dad two daughters a uh, and a son but they also had another son the they lost in the war mm. well was it in the war well, well it would have been up, it sounded like he picked up something father gets taken to prison right at the start. The youngest daughter, because there's two, cuts her hair off so she looks like a boy and she gets respect. It's really a long adventure of her trying to get her father out of prison. The animation was called Breadwinner and as Joey has said, it really was all about how women had very little freedom within that area and the youngest daughter had to mask herself as a boy in order to support the family but also to find a way of helping the father. What did you think of the animation Jo? Mm, it's fairly good. I thought it was amazing. Do you know, a lot of it reminded me of paper cutouts. Do you think that, how do you think they make that? What do you mean? It looked almost like it had been made first on paper. Probably had. It's mm. usually how it starts. Yeah. Not drawings, not animated drawings, but making scenes from paper, layered paper, and or like a flip book. Uh, no, more, more like creating a scene with different coloured pieces of paper, and then. And I'm not saying that was how it was done. But I'm just saying that's how it, to me. It may have all been done digitally. I don't know. But no, I thought it was a great film. It's, it's very hard to, to walk away and say, I really liked that when you know it's about such an awful time for people who are living in such places and for, for girls who their life becomes so difficult in terms of their freedom and their education and what they're allowed to do because of where they live. So what do you think happened at the end? I don't know. Do you think they all found each other? I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah, let's, let's imagine it being a happy ending. Yeah. So that's where we've been this morning, to the interfilm screening of Breadwinner. If you like alternate films that have some content, that have some depth, that tell a story, that make you think, then I would highly recommend Breadwinner. Not only does it do all of those things, but it is beautifully produced. It is graphically brilliant. It is stunning to watch. It is funny. What else? I don't know. It's just letting you go. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> so, I've been Maria. I've been Joey. Very enthusiastic, Joey. Yep. And, uh, yeah, you've been awesome. We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Bye.